Hello and welcome to the Balfour Azeroth Alpha Boom King Changes and Reworks Guide. I'll be talking about the things they've added with the removal of the artifacts and the talent changes. Well, first things first is New Moon and Full Moon just aren't a thing anymore. So your AoE damage and overall like gainage of astral power is just going to be down, like just baseline down. And your AoE damage is going to be down because full moon and especially with the legendary cape which lets you get like two full moons off you're losing all that damage so like the real changes is boom can just have way less astral power all around and just way less aoe damage um the first change in the first talent tree is <coughs> that force of nature which was originally like i think it was fourth tier or s level 60 has been moved up to 15 so i think they've done this because it just allows people questing can just get Free Trents, which is just taunt and just easier to quest for a Boomkin. Uh, Warrior of a Loon and Star Lord, they're pretty much the same as before. Free Instant Lunar Strike, you probably want this for most AoE fights, and Star Lord for AoE. I don't think there'll be any use of of uh, Force of Nature, to be honest. So, as before, Wild Charge and Renew, they're, they're, they're basically the same, but there's Tiger Dash, which is. It's just another dash, but. It's it's probably not as good as the as like if you're Boomkin you really want the leap back because it's just a disengage can get you out of loads of stuff and yeah but I think for most classes you want to take dash because if you look at the speed if you just see normal dash just like this but tiger's dash I don't know if I can yeah there we go so tiger's dash oh it's on cooldown I'll show you in a sec anyway. But yeah, um, Feral Affinity, Guardian Affinity, they're pretty much the same. 3% you get Rejuve and Swift Mend. It depends what you want, but I think Feral Affinity is just not good in, in any any form. But Guardian and Restoration depends on what you're, what boss you're doing on whatever. Mighty Bash, Mass Entanglement, Typhoon, they're pretty much all the same. But I think they've increased the range on the Bash. I don't know if that's set to change. Um, Soul of the Forest, Stellarfly, Incarnation. Stellarfly is just pretty much useless again. Like you're just not taking that at any time. But <clears throat> I think it's it's the same as Legion, where you take Soul of the Forest for AOE and Incarn for single target. But Soul of the Forest might be better now, to be honest, because. You don't have that much astral power, and if you want to get off your star falls, you need to have that reduced astral power, because you're going to have like so much reduced astral power to deal with. Um, so on to the next one, which is up to debate. See, now without full moon, I think astral commune communion is actually pretty good because you just get an instant 75 astral powers on pull. Where is once you start to pull, you can sunfire, moonfire. Astral Communion, you're already at like 80, 80 or whatever Astral Power, use off two Star Surges and it starts off the Zerg But yeah Shooting Stars again, just really good for AoE Dot everyone up with Sunfire, you're getting procs Use the Moonfire on certain amounts of targets And you'll be getting so much Astral Power and you just dump down Star Falls But for most single target fights you want Blessing of the Ancients Just because you get so much more astral power for hitting single targets. You don't want to ever use the uh, Sunfire version. You always want to do Blessing of a Loon. And the bottom talent's all the all the same really. Fury of a Loon is not not good at all because it's just using so much astral power for no reason. Nature's balance, eh, you don't really want it because you should be refreshing your dots all the time. So it's just stellar drift again. And of course it allows you to cast and move and stuff. It's just really efficient. So now I'm going to show you what the dash is like. See how fast you go. See, it's really, really quick. And then it just gradually moves down. But that's just a small burst of speed. But if you're a Boomkin, you want them to disengage to get out of stuff. But now I'm going to show the typical AoE rotation for Boomkin. And in the dungeon video in Freehold, this is where you can see that in action. So, usually you take Worry of Balloon, but I just don't like the extra button to click. But I'm going to take World Charge. Oh, it's on cooldown, obviously. So I'm going to take Soul of the Forest, Shooting Stars, and Stellar Drift. 
So the main thing you're going to be changing, depending on fight, is that second last tier. Most of this will change, stay the same, depending on the fight. If you're good at like having the extra spell, Warrior of Rune's probably the best. But yeah, I'll show you the typical rotation. So you want to start off with... You don't want Stexter Alignment yet, because you haven't got the... Um, you haven't got enough Lunar Strikes and Solar Rafts. So what you want to start off with is... Let me take off Lady and the Child, because obviously you won't have that. So, turn on Nameplate, and I'll show you now. So you want to open up with Sunfire and Moonfire, and get that on all the targets. If they're a bit closer together, Sunfire and Moonfire should hit them all. But, yeah. So you want to dot these guys up, so you're getting off procs. Then just start off with the Lunar Strikes. You mainly just want to be utilizing your Lunar Strikes, because that's going to hit two cut targets. So you want to put down some Fire Moon Fire. Um, in fights like um, a, a Command, where you're going to have like small bursts of adds, you want to be saving your Astral Power for them bursts of adds, so when the adds come down, you can have like two, um, two Star Falls ready. And obviously you can cast a move in this. So if you, you can use your um, alignment, so you're getting more spell damage. And you can just dot up freely. And just make sure you're keeping up your dots because that is going to be your main like passive source of astral power. And if you have if you're not dotting up, then your astral power is going to be really really low. So you got to make sure your dots are up as as much as possible, and make sure you're getting down the star falls. And as well, when you're using um, stellar drift, you've really got to be utilizing the um, utilizing the amount you're using, like the amount you're moving in the thing. But you just make, have to make sure that your dots are just kept up on the target at all times. And if there's a small burst where it's a single target, you go solar wrap. Just because it's quicker. And then when it's one or one or more targets, just Lunar Strike, Lunar Strike, Lunar Strike. Because it's going to hit two targets and just do so much DPS. But yeah. So that's basically the lowdown on the AoE. It's pretty much the same as Legion, but you're just going to have less Astral Power from Full Moons and stuff. But it's just generic, just keeping up your dots and whatever. So, there's single target talents. Let me just get them on. If I can go out of combat. So, Incarn. Let me just get out of combat quickly. Blessing of the Ancients, because it gives you more astral power. Star Lord stays the same. Guardian of Infinity stays the same. Incarnation. And uh, Stellar Drift. I always take Stellar Drift even on single target because I think nature's balance is just it's just stupid. Like your dots shouldn't you should be like doing your dots every few seconds. So now let's see. So you make sure you've got the blessing of ancients. This drops after you die, so you've got to make sure you're keeping it up. So what you want to start with is start off with a sunfire and moonfire. And then just make sure you get before you start using your incarn, just get your astral power up first. Then enter incarnation, use star surge. You just want to be mainly just pumping that star surge in. And if there's more than one fight, then you're just going to be using lunar strike. But mainly just getting your solar rafts off because they get, they're getting cast quicker, like a lot quicker than lunar strikes. So you just want to be making sure that you've got, keep the target dotted using lunar strikes when they're empowered. And just using star surges. Because star surges do so much DPS. Oh, a little lag spot there. Excuse that. Alpha and whatever. So yeah, it's literally the same as Legion, but you're going to have a lot less astral power. So you've got to use it more effectively. And yeah, but the AoE is pretty much the same. And I think Boomkin will be one of the strongest AoE specs because they've retained what they had in Legion. So they'll always be getting a lot of astral power from big packs and star pools. But small packs, small pools, like at the start of an expansion, won't be good for Boomy because... You won't have that much much astral power. But yeah, that's it for Boomkin in BFA. There'll be a link now for the dungeon freehold where I did display the AoE and um, single target examples. But yeah, keep up for more guides in the future and see ya.